Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be working on how to do a basic colour correction in GIMP. So when you've got your render, it's fully rendered exactly how you want it. And uh, I usually render mine with a transparent background because I like adding my backgrounds in the post-processing um, system instead of in Blender. Um, and you don't want to use the blender nodes to the compositor to um, color correct your images and you want to do another um, piece of software so usually I would use Photoshop but today for the sake of free software we're going to be using GIMP my good old favorite the one that taught me all the stuff I know today really anyway um, so we're going to be looking how to color correct your own renders and that was the original and this was the final color corrected images that I um, just did um, in the past 10 minutes anyway let's get on to the tutorial so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, not hide, I'm just going to delete everything apart from the original so you've got your original render. Now depending if it has a transparent background, which you can see by the checkered surface behind, um, we're going to add a background first. So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to drag it underneath our original and I'm going to call it background. And I'm going to fill it in with a pale blue. This one, C2, F6, F9. It's the one I just had before, so it looks good and I like it. Um, now, when we're always color correcting, we want to duplicate our original, so we always have an, our original um, file just below. And we're going to call this um, start. Okay, so this is the um, copy of our original because we just want to hide our original, we just want to keep it there and away from everything. And this is the one we're going to be doing all the color corrections to. Now, unlike Photoshop, GIMP does not have adjustment layers, so you can't just adjust something and it goes onto a layer that you can then further adjust to your liking. It's basically embedded into the image. So we're going to go colors, and the first um, option I'm going to pick is curves. Always curves first. And I'm just going to lift it up, lightening the scene a bit like so. The next one I'm going to go, and you can use any of these, but these are my like favorite ones that I use constantly. Um, hue and saturation, probably one of the best color correction tools ever. So hue basically can change all the colors. You can get some really crazy stuff, as you can see. So you don't want to be too harsh with this um, sliders. I think I'm going to go back around there and I'm going to move my lightness up and saturation slightly up. So remember, these only went up 8, 3 and that went, up my, that went down minus 22 because that shows a bit of contrast and harshness to the image. After that, I think I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm going to use some levels. Something like that. Like so, remember, you only have to take minor changes to make it look really good and redder. Already, we've got a huge change. We've got a huge change. Another thing I like to do is I like to make a new layer. And this is often a finishing effect for my images. I get a dark blue and I fill and I fill it in. Then I set it to overlay. I'd set it to exclusion on Photoshop and lower the opacity and that gives everything a bluish tinge which I really like almost melancholy also another tip is we duplicate our start layer with all the color corrections on and I like to go to colors map gradient map 
and before I'm just going to before I do that I'm going to change it back to black and white and repeat the process and this is just going to add some more contrast to our image when we set it to soft light we can just lower now we can also while we're here we can change the brightness and contrast now I don't like having my images like that blaringly blight with almost like a facade over the top of it. I prefer something more subtle and I like high contrasting colors. There you go, it's looking really good. So that is just a few basic steps, like that's basically what my color correction and post-processing um, consists of. You can also add some overlays on top of it. So for example you could add some dust particles, things that could add to your image that you couldn't be bothered to do in your 3D, um, 3D software. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I shall catch you in my next video.